here we go. So we've got uh, different ways to catch the queens, and we have different reasons for catching queen bees. We're going to get in the hive now and catch the queen, but first to do that, we'll warm up a little bit by catching drones. Drone aren't, drones aren't as valuable to the hive as the queen is, um, and the reason that we practice on drones is because they don't have stingers. So if you're going to catch the queen and you uh, need a little finger warm-up exercise, you can, you can catch some drones. The smoke keeps them calm. Now in order for us to find the queen easily, we don't want to put a lot of smoke. How much smoke? That much. These bees are calm anyway. We gave them some smoke before I opened the lid. That gives them time to settle down. They know something's coming. Causing as least amount of disturbance as possible, I'm going to get in the hive. If we're real quiet and real careful how we move around, we might catch the queen at work. It's uh, not typical that you'll see a queen laying eggs, but sometimes you do. All right, I doubt she'll be on this frame. It's honey next to the feeder. Oh, but we're in luck. It's full of drones. There's drones everywhere on this, on this frame. If you want to hold the frame with one hand and catch, catch bees with the other, you can. It's best if you catch the bee by both wings. Then it can't twist and turn and wiggle out or maybe even get hurt. So, uh, let's see. A note on catching queens. If she's a virgin queen and she hasn't been on her mating flight, I don't want to pick her up by the wings because I could damage her wings. They're still tender and not hardened off at that point and it might interfere with her flight. If you wanted to set the frame down, you can without smashing a lot of bees make sure the queen's not on the other side when you set it down right and set it down gently they'll move out of the way now i can catch them so you need to have the queen bee running away from you so i'll approach her from behind and then pick up see now that one i got uh, by one wing it's trying to fly and get away you can set the set the bee on your finger and then you can pinch with your thumb two legs if you get two legs then it won't twist and turn and wiggle around and get out now I could mark the queen, or I could put the queen in a cage. Got it by one wing. Uh, got it by one wing again. There's another drone. It's hard to get both wings. Got one wing. You sneak up behind it and pinch right on the back of its abdomen. Now when they, if they, if they uh, get nervous and start running away from you, it's much harder to catch them. So it's nice if you can do it the first time. I got that one by a leg. See how it's twisting? If you want to twist and turn, you could damage it, injure that. Uh, if this was a queen bee, you, it might get damaged and injured. There's a drone right there that's drinking. Drones can feed themselves. They're not completely helpless, but uh, they won't gather nectar, but they'll eat themselves. And the wings are sticking up in the air. Perfect opportunity to catch it. Awesome. Both wings. Here's some drones, we're practicing on drones still. Pick it up by the wings. Approach it from behind, pick it up by the wings. If you try to pinch its thorax, you can do it. That's one way to do it. So if somebody were practicing and wanting to get their queen, how many drones should they pick up before they move on to the queen? Um, well, let's see, I'd try, I'd try 10 of them. If you can find 10, if you got a frame like this, you got uh, 10 drones on there. Whatever you do, just don't pick the queen up by her abdomen. Um, pick her up by the thorax. It's not so easy though. You're likely to miss and it's likely to wiggle out of there. So you want to grab the wings if you can. Here's how this queen catcher works. See, it doesn't pinch tight so that's not going to harm the bee when you catch it. So you put that right over the queen, you watch where you're going, and uh, then you clip it that way. Now I've got it. So the trouble with this though is you might get a worker in there, or two or three, at the same time you've got the queen. So you wouldn't want to use this to mark, mark the queen, but uh, you could catch her and set her aside for some other purpose while you're working in the hive. These are a, a 
handy, sometimes handy gadget. Put it over. Cut. You could do this too. Okay. Are we warmed up thoroughly? Should we try catching the queen? Yep. Here we go. Another queen. Mm -hmm. So we're looking for the queen. There she is. Okay, she's on this one. I found the queen bee and I'm going to set this this frame down on its side. So the queen's going to want to run and crawl back down on the other side and uh, hide from us. So it's going to be easiest if you kind of hurt her. Put your finger in front of her and get her to move away from you. And then when you've got a clear opportunity, grab her by the wings. It's hard, uh, hard to get both wings. Now she knows something's up, huh? Now she knows something up, she run. Okay, um, all right, I got her by both wings. Let's put her in a mailing cage. All right, so we put her in like this, and then if you put your thumb behind her, give her a little boost there, she'll go right in. Okay, put your thumb over the hole, then she'll stay in there. Now I can either put in my my uh, candy plug, right? She's ready to introduce to another colony or mail uh, through the or ship or shipper, um, or I can put in a in a cork. I can put the cork in there. That's how we catch a queen. I'll put it this way. Just put that down, the screen down. Okay, here oh, she goes. All right. So we've got these handy little queen catching uh, clips. We can catch her that way. She'll usually have some attendants around her, so it's going to make it a little difficult to just get the queen with this. So you could smash her if you're not careful with the ants here. So there's a gap in the middle of this, right? So you want to put that over the top of her. You can watch through the side there and put that down over the top of her and then uh, catch her that way. It won't pinch her legs. That's why uh, they make that gap, so you don't pinch her legs. All right, so now I've caught the queen. Usually, uh, you would uh, use this tool if you're going to uh, do something in the hive that you're afraid you might damage the queen. So I can catch her in this. I can set her aside for a minute while I, I work on the hive without worrying about smashing it. 